Hello and welcome to another Demon 212 VC review. Today I'm going to be taking a look at Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles on the NES. If you've never played the game before, it's uh, very hard to describe so I'll have to show you. Um, this game was actually 500 points when it was released in the EU and 600 in the US and then they changed it to 600 in the EU too. The game gets a lot of flack for being pretty bad. Personally I think it's an alright game but it's pretty hard. It's also got a bug though. I should have kept this, uh, I should have kept going in the review, but basically I pushed start and instead of starting here, being able to walk around and slash things, I started underneath that. It actually killed me right at the start. I lost Leonardo inside half a second because I spawned underneath that damn thing. Well anyway, you've got that part of the game where you're at the top there and you can slash things but you can't kill that enemy pretty much. And then you've got these parts here which are the manholes and basically you need to go through them. You don't need to do every one, some of them are just useless filler, some of them are shortcuts and stuff like that. But basically you need to find your way through these to collect uh, shuriken weapons type things, boomerangs, stuff like that. To collect um, pizza, obviously the other pizza is just your energy so you only collect it when you need it. Um, and fight bosses and basically, uh, let's say the first boss here, he's kind of like a sub bossy type thing really. And basically you have to go through this... Uh, Oh, it's actually giving me a second one, so this is what I mean again by the game has a few bugs and issues about it. Because it's now just giving me a second boss to fight because the energy meter hadn't popped up. But anyway, the uh, whole point is, so as I say, you go through and fight the bosses and then you get to the end of the level. There's six levels in the game overall and the levels are quite long because this one here has several of these manhole things that you have to go down. You have to fight several bosses, you have to fight the likes of... Um, uh, Rocksteady and Bebop, that's the names, yes, I can never bloody remember their names, but anyway, the Warthog and the Rhino, you have to fight them before you can actually finish the uh, level, because you've basically got to rescue April, who surprisingly hasn't been kidnapped by Shredder, but has been kidnapped by Bebop and Rocksteady, and then the second level sees you on uh, a dam, and instead of manholes you have to go indoors and the likes. So the game, the main hub it pretty much changes all the time but at the same time that it's always kind of like the same because the whole point is you just have to go and uh, go down the manholes or go in the doors and fight the enemies. If you push start you've got uh, your map over there in the top left corner which basically tells you where you're on, where you've been and the likes. You've then got all the uh, turtles you can choose from which all have full energy meters so if you're in trouble there like I was with Leonardo because he's got you trapped in the corner just push start and transform into one of the other turtles which is pretty sweet because you can do that at any time and while there's no enemies here for me to fight I'm just going to stand here and show you the others because obviously I've shown you Leonardo with a sword and the things he can do Raphael he can just do different psi attacks Mike has the uh, good old nunchuck there although the fact that they've called him Mike instead of Mikey is a bit irritating because his, his real name is Michelangelo and his nickname was Mikey not Mike same as how Don I don't think I've ever heard Donatello being called Don but anyway Donatello has his really long Taibo stick I believe it's called and that basically you can do long down attacks and up attacks so if there's an enemy underneath you you can actually stand here and the likes and uh, fall off but anyway you can stand here and just hold down and kill the enemies like that so that's pretty useful um, so yeah that's pretty much everything I've got to say about the game graphically the game is very poor to be fair the, the graphics on the game are pretty awful um, one of the things you must remember is before collecting the pizza, swap over to one of your turtles who needs the energy. So don't just collect it and assume it's going to go at the right place. It doesn't. You need to swap to that turtle. But anyway, loads of different types of enemies to fight and very few of them I've ever actually seen in a turtles cartoon. Uh, you do get the odd foot soldier which you may have saw as fight but you then get this guy who... I don't know if he has actually got a chainsaw for an arm but it definitely looks like it. But anyway... Uh, as I was saying, graphically the game's very poor. Music-wise, I'll shut up for a few seconds, but it's really nothing special. So there we go then. That's been the review. I hope you found it helpful. I don't score the games because that's based purely on opinion, so instead I'll leave you to make your own mind up. So thanks for watching and if you've got any questions about the game that I didn't answer in the vid or that hasn't been answered in the comments then feel free to ask and I'll help if I can. Also if you did find it helpful don't forget to check out my channel because there's plenty more like this up there and don't forget to subscribe because there'll be plenty more to come as well. So until next time this has been Demon212 signing off.